things, but let's start with Ford. 6% pop, especially after we've seen Tesla struggle the last couple of weeks. Ford and GM really kind of asserting themselves here in the market, Renita. Well, the Ford assembly line churned out a pretty good earnings report for the fourth quarter with a top and bottom line beat also returning some extra money to shareholders in the form of an extra dividend that'll come, as well as issuing a pretty strong guidance for the full year 2024. Now that special dividend is of 18 cents a share on top of the regular first quarter dividend of 15 cents a share. And when we look at earnings, adjusted earnings came in well above estimates at 29 cents a share. Overall revenue grew about four and a half percent year over year to 46 billion dollars also well above expectations and of that automotive made up about 43.2 billion dollars above expectations for pro commercial business that revenue grew 25 percent year over year to 1.81 billion dollars and then the model e however posted a 1.57 billion dollar loss in the quarter but free cash flow came in at just under two billion dollars now ceo jim farley calls 2023 a foundational year for Ford said that it was a solid year but it wants he wants to be really clear that they're nowhere near their earnings potential for the Ford Motor Company and he added that the company is however well positioned this year for growth and profitability and for revenues as well. So the company issued a pretty strong guidance for the full year 2024. They're expecting EBIT of between 10 billion and 12 billion above expectations, free cash flow, $7 billion at the high end, CapEx at nine and a half billion dollars at the high end. All right, it seems like this company and GM have both rebounded pretty well from some of the labor stress oh, yeah. around the UAW tension last year. Well, they have. And in fact, back in November, Ford actually issued a lower guidance. They cut the guidance for the full year profit outlook. And while they were able to beat that guidance, they still need to make cuts elsewhere. Now, of course, they cut that guidance because they figured they will have higher costs as it relates to more money going out of the company with the new contract. And they expect through the life of the contract to still increase costs by about $900 in labor costs per vehicle by 2028. And then they're looking to increase costs on a whole by about $8.8 .8 billion through the end of that contract in April of 2028. So Ford is looking for ways to cut. They've cut some of the electric vehicle expectations that they had for themselves and some of the projects, but they are honing in on a special EV that they say will rival Tesla and be cheaper. Mm, all right. Big talk, big words uh, from Ford here on a quarter where they still lost money on the bottom line, but at least um, the surprise a little positive. That's the gap uh, basis adjusted positive, mm -hmm. but important to note that the company still is uh, dealing with some cost pressures. Thanks. We need a good look at the report here. Shares up five and a half percent.